Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, Blizzard Shields, Destiny, Search, Pezzes, Vassals, Meat Sacks, Minions. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. And uh, let's go back to the USA and let's talk about Hillary Clinton and this uh, latest scandal. And uh, of course, I'm going to take my usual uh, tack on this uh, event and I'm going to be very cynical. And that way I'll be able to tell what's actually going to happen. What's going to actually going to happen pretty much by the end of it is nothing. Uh, here we go again with a, a, another um, uh, technical difficulty, and uh, it's being tur turned into a scandal. And uh, there's really not much to it. You know, it may or may not may not be illegal, uh, according to uh, Judge Napolitano. She she maybe did violate some laws. Uh, let's see, concealing government documents when you work for the government is a felony. Um, she violated her oaths when she uh, started working for the State Department. You know, to declare that we will save all the all of this documentation, and then uh, failing to uh, secure your classified documents is a misdemeanor, and then a false email address uh, under these circumstances as a false government office uh, would also be a felony. Um, but uh, a lot of these laws don't really apply, um, and I'm sure with the kind of lawyers uh, that she is and has, uh, she'll have no problem uh, getting out of this should anything become of it. And uh, she she uh, is already taking care of a lot of the, the dirty business. She uh, has deleted uh, 32,000 emails. Although, are they? They they could be uh, stored somewhere, and somebody can gain access to them. And um, you also have to remember that uh, she she knows uh, what she's been doing all along. So she's known how to navigate through all this, knowing she was doing something illegal, and. Um, and she'll know how to carry it through to the end. And, um, and, and But uh, she has a lot to, to be concerned about because, uh, first of all, there's going to be uh, 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 obviously some emails dealing with uh, previous uh, scandals that she's been, been involved in, including Benghazi. And uh, then we also have uh, the fact that she's going to have emails between her and Bill Clinton, and there could be things uh, that involve the Clinton Foundation. And uh, so that could also be... Uh, embarrassing should some of that come out, as well as just uh, the fact that, once again, if she has all these emails concentrated mixing business and uh, her personal life, uh, it would definitely be an interesting hodgepodge. But uh, right now, uh, of course, all we're getting is a, a barrage of lies and excuses, and everybody's acting outraged and, and shocked and surprised and all that. But that's all we get from anybody, Republican or Democrat, Hillary, Obama, uh, Mitt Romney, uh, Jeb Bush. I mean, he's barely even out there speaking yet. I haven't even heard any of his speeches, and I know he's lying right now as we speak. Um, so that's what you get from these kind of people. And, uh, and of course, one of the other problems, and one, one of the reasons why we know uh, in the end this is just more political opportunism and feigned outrage and probably a fake scandal is because, well, once again, as, as everyone forgets back in 2007, uh, George Bush and uh, Dick Cheney deliberately de deleted 20 million White House emails, 20 million, and they also used an illegally uh, uh, private internet domain that was illegal, hosted by the Republican National Committee. But um, that, that only got marginal legs then, and the story will probably get marginal legs now. But uh, you know, once again, uh, hypocrisy is the coin of the realm. And uh, I know uh, certain of my uh, friends and, and other pundits uh, take. Uh, issue with the fact that uh, uh, oftentimes I don't really put much into these scandals that pop up because I, I know they're pure political opportunism because I compare them to, to uh, the hypocrisy of the party that's currently in the witch hunt. And uh, two wrongs don't make a right. And, uh, and certainly uh, the fact that it's happened before doesn't mean any, any uh, discrepancies and, 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 and uh, transgressions, particularly possibly criminal, uh, why I, I, I'm less concerned. Well, that's possibly a, a good question, but like I say, I, I, all I see is the political opportunism in the, in the parts of witch hunt. It's hard for me to even see uh, the legal issues anymore uh, because there's just so much uh, hypocrisy and lies uh, in, uh, in Washington, D.C. So, uh, a couple other interesting facts about this. Apparently, Bill Clinton has been smart enough. He has only sent 
two meal two emails in his whole life uh, while president, and so that's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting to find out people like Lindsey Graham also uh, don't use email. So uh, I find that actually rather revealing. It shows that these politicians know that all this stuff that they say on a daily basis could go back come back to haunt them should it become available somewhere. And um, certainly uh, 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 cell phone um, cameras have increased the fact that, w that we have access to all this kind of information and material uh, that we never used to have before. And the emails is another example of that. So it can, it can be very dangerous uh, for uh, contemporary uh, political life. But, um, you know, let's, let's bear in mind that Hillary Clinton has been protecting her email since day one, and she will continue to do so. And I'll be surprised, like I say, if much comes out of this. Um, in the end, we're going to have uh, some more uh, political opportunism. We're going to have a lot of political grandstanding. Uh, we're going to have the media and uh, political figures nitpicking every single detail and aspect of this. And then uh, for ad nauseum for the next uh, couple of days, weeks, and months until the next distraction comes along. And... Um, There'll be plenty of uh, feigned political outrage. There'll be lots of talk about legalities and technicalities. And in the end, it, it won't come to anything. And in fact, by the time the presidential election comes in 2016, um, I'm pretty certain she's still going to win it. And, um, and not because necessarily all of her transgressions are going to be uh, are forgotten. Uh, a lot of them for a lot of the base are not even known. And uh, a lot of the Democratic base will uh, vote for her just because, uh, no other reason. Most of them aren't even that familiar with their policies anyway. And uh, that's not to let the GOP off, off the hook. They're not really aware of a lot of policies either. Uh, they're only a lot, uh, aware of the policies uh, when the, Democratic Repo uh, the Democrats are in power and uh, vice versa. So, uh, so anyway... Um, there could be some gruesome details. I will add that. There might be some good gruesome details to come out. I always enjoy those. Uh, we could find out about all the foreign money that's going into the, the Clinton Foundation. Uh, we could find out uh, some some uh, more dirt on Bill, as if we need any more dirt on Bill. So that could be fun. So I don't, I don't totally want to write this scandal off. There should be some interesting revelations uh, here and there. And I, I always love seeing Hillary Clinton squirm and uh, turn into the, the flaming bitch that she is. But, um, well, there you have it. Hillary, keep on keeping on. I'm a useful idiot, don't you be one too.